Legends. This is Zuby Masters returning to my Let's Play of Disgaea 4. Promise it. Here's your punishment. <laughs> Here I come! You conceited bastard! Now!
Transform yet? Such persistence. Why won't you just accept it already? Could it be that you're just shy? Are you just too embarrassed to show your excitement? I'm just embarrassed, period. Damn it, I am a lady. Why would I want to become an idiot like you? Desco doesn't want to be an idiot. Desco wants to become a final boss, and then... Stop calling me an idiot! Can't you feel my reason, intelligence? You understand, right, young master? Following the Corruptiment's orders and turning into me is the most righteous thing you can do! Sorry, but I want to become a great demon! Ah, you too? Hey, wait a minute. Are you saying that I'm not a great demon? Shh, whatever. No matter how much you resist, there's no turning back once you've contracted my virus. You have no choice but to be me! You! 
Don't you feel the guilt of your sin? Don't you feel anything seeing all of these people suffering? Well, it's not like I don't feel bad or anything. But evil is justified in its own evil way. It's not up to us to decide whether this is really evil or not. Hey, there's no point in trying to talk sense into that idiot. Give up. I don't remember allowing anyone who would give up before the battle to join my party. Keep fighting till the end. I'll make you a promise right now. Even if you all turn into Axel, I will find a way to turn you guys back to your original forms. So, so don't give up until the end. <laughs> How much longer can you keep it up? Just turn into me so you can relax already. My turn will last forever in this nether world. <laughs> Get it? Turn? <laughs>
don't even think this is over. As long as the A virus exists, the second, third, and even fourth me will keep coming back. <sighs> Good! That idiot has been defeated. How's everyone doing? Desko's body feels hot! Mine too! I can't do this anymore! No! Nothing has changed even after the original has fallen! If only our Lord's logic was correct. What terrible misfortune. Damn it! Get a hold of yourselves! Where's your spirit? Toughen up! Don't you have a mission to accomplish? My mission? M my. I'm. I'm. <sighs> Look at you guys! Damn it! Hey, you! We didn't get better even after we defeated the original Axel! You turned me into this! How are you gonna take responsibility? Your consciousness is still present. You're mentally tough. I don't want you to be impressed. If I had to look like this, I wish I would have lost my consciousness too! Ugh. Even if I confessed my love to a boy under a legendary tree, my love would never come true! Desko... Desko doesn't care about anything anymore. Who cares about being a final boss? My, my leg and chest hair are perfect now! Lord Val... Please don't look at me. Please consider your loyal servant, Fenric, to be dead. My only wish is that my master, Lord Valvatoris, will not succumb to this infectious disease. Do not give up, Fenric. I will find a cure. How? You're gonna transform sooner or later too, you know? Then there won't be anything you can do about it. I'm not going to give up. I made a promise to find a cure, no matter what! Oh, forget it. We're all gonna be idiots. It's fine. I forgive you. It's not like this was your fault. Shut up! I'm not giving up. I won't give up yet! I promised you that I'd take you to meet the President I promised Desko to train her until she becomes a final boss! I preached to Rascal about how important it is to keep your promises! Am I going to break a promise now? Am I? Well, am I going to helplessly break those promises again, just like that one time? I have no choice. Huh? What are you doing? Shh. Can you please just keep it down? Please, drink this blood. Huh? This blood? But... Just do it! Just your blood. The blood of angels possesses the power to purify any impurities. I should have contracted the virus long ago, but I wasn't showing any symptoms, so I gave it a shot. Looks like my theory was right on target. My blood will counteract the A virus. Thank you, Artina. 
my name is Volcanus. I thought I told you that. Okay, fine, Volcanus. Can you please share your blood with my little sis? Uh, I mean, Desco and the rest of our party? No! What are you gonna do to me? I feel better than ever! Shut up! Did you forget my rule? You vowed absolute loyalty to me! No problem. Huh? It feels as though Desco had a super terrible nightmare. charge us, are you? <laughs> I wonder... What about you, Mr. Werewolf? You would never accept my help, would you? <sighs> so this is your payback. <laughs> I'm just joking. Here, please drink it. I won't show you any gratitude. I wasn't expecting you to, so it doesn't matter. No, thank you. I'm fine. Why not? You're going to transform soon. Hmm. I'm not scared of any viruses. I'll force it out of my body with my spirit, fortitude, and the power of sardines! Are you scared of drinking my blood? That you'll break your promise? know about that promise. Oh, well, that's too bad. I wish you luck with your spirit and fortitude, Mr. Vampire. Uh, wait! You knew your blood was the cure to the virus long before you stepped up. Why didn't you come out with it earlier? Angels are forbidden from wounding their own bodies by Celestian law. So you broke the law. Why would you do that? Was it so that our Lord wouldn't have to break his promise? Are you, in fact... I did it all for the money, of course. Please, don't misinterpret my motives. All the blood I gave you guys will, of course, come with a price tag. My blood is quite expensive, you know. Can you afford 880,141 hell multiplied by the number of people here? That's so freaking expensive! <laughs> of course. And that's with a generous discount. But... I know you don't have that kind of money right now, so... I'll just have to tag along with you until you can afford it. 
You guys better rest here for a bit. I'm gonna go make some money. I should be able to make a ton from all the infected people in this world. That's what she says, but... Desco can tell. That lady is actually a good person. She even broke the law to save us. Oh, now I'm in her debt. What a shame. However, we have to accept the fact that she saved us from that crisis. Yes, my lord. Regrettably, it is what it is. I shall take my frustrations out during the next battle. The next battle, huh? Has the time finally come to battle the Netherworld President? I'm counting on you, Fenric! Understood. All is for my lord. After exterminating the mass-produced axles, we head for the Netherworld's Mother Temple, the Executive Office of the President! Ooh, finally a normal preview? The President is basically the head of the Netherworld. Ever hear, better to be the head of a sardine than the tail of a sea bream? Huh? So you're gonna talk about sardines after all. It's an idiom that means it's better to be the leader of a small group than to be a peon of a much more powerful group. That's correct. But herein lies a huge mistake. There are over 200 kinds of fish in the world with the name Thai, but only 100 of them are considered to make up the family. Compared to that, there are 300 kinds of sardines in the world. It's an overwhelming victory for sardines. In other words, we shouldn't be using sardines to symbolize the smaller group. You should now think of sardines as the bigger, more powerful and awesome group. As expected of my lord, not only the history of the netherworld, but you've now changed the meaning of an idiom as well. Next time, final episode, aim for the head, the final runoff for netherworld president, Rebellion Kick! I'm gonna be the president! my lord. By reversing the A-virus and bringing the upper-level demons under our control, we gained the support of most demons. The only thing that stands in our way now are the demons of the Corruptament. We were able to reverse the A-virus and bring the upper-level demons in line because of my blood, right? It's not like you didn't take advantage of the infected demons to make a ton of money, you patronizing bitch. Anyway, we can finally deliver the beating to the Corruptoman that they rightfully deserve. Upon successfully usurping the regime, I will bring Hades to the Netherworld and teach everyone a lesson or two. <laughs> so... I'm just a step away from taking the office of the president. This nightmare must be coming to an end. <gasps> is Desco close to becoming a final boss? Desco is so excited! <laughs> and you're here to collect some money, right? How much are you trying to collect, Volcanus? I only need a little more to reach my goal. Once I go and collect from Fort Knockers, my goal will be met. <laughs> Fort Knockers, you say? So you're going to follow us to our destination again? Oh, please, it's just a coincidence. Why don't you change your destination if you're so upset about it, Mr. Werewolf? Watch your mouth, Thief Angel. I'm not going to change anything for you. Enough, you two! Stop running your mouths back there! We're not going on a picnic here! 
the matter, Rascal? Tense before our big battle? Or is it a calcium deficiency? In either event, eating sardines will fix everything. You can't fight on an empty stomach, right? Oh, I don't give a crap about sardines! I told you, I hate fish! Plus, this isn't the time to be making jokes! Do you know how many soldiers are stationed at the executive office? Ah, I know there used to be about a million of them. A million? The population density must be... really dense. They've cut down on that number due to decreased funding, but I assume there are still at least half a million there. So, so you do know! That's right! There's a gigantic army of 600,000 soldiers! Although they've downsized by 40% from the height of their manpower, the army still consists of the most powerful demons! Ten million mid-level demons don't even stand a chance against them! I know this is just a dream, but not even I think we could beat 600,000 enemies. Oh, but I'm sure we must have some kind of plan for a situation like this, right? Go Fen Fen, the baddest man in the party! <laughs> Don't flatter me so much. Of course I have a plan. And that plan is... It is... What? An assassination. To defeat a large army with only a few troops, we sneak in close and then eliminate the leader as quickly as possible. That is the only way we will be able to defeat an army of 600,000 soldiers. That is not an option, Fenric. Even if we did topple the Corruptiment, no one will approve of our leadership if we cheat like that. Unless we suppress the Corruptiment and the President with our power, fair and square, the Netherworld will never agree to obey us. So, you want to straight up fight against every single one of those 600,000 soldiers? Do you really think that... Rascal, tell me, what did you come here for? Well, to become a great demon who is strong enough to be worthy of being the president's son. Then wouldn't this be your best opportunity to show off how much you've grown? How much I've grown? <laughs> you may still have a long way ahead of you if you seriously have to ask. We're only talking about 600,000 soldiers. That means each of us only has to handle 100,000, right, Desko? Yes. That's a reasonable expectation for a final boss. Each of us must withstand a hundred thousand soldiers. Desco is a battle vixen! One hundred thousand each? It sounds like you've included me in your calculations. Uh, I, I actually, no. I, I didn't mean... I, I was counting the prinnies. Emmys, you're a boy, right? You'll never get a better chance to rub in your dad's face what you've become since he abandoned you. 600,000 isn't that much when you compare it to the population of Tokyo. Shit, fine, I'll do it. I'll show him how much Sir Death the Measle has grown. <laughs> it's been a while since you last called yourself that. Well, do your best not to get in the way of our Lord's path to the throne. Good! It looks like we're ready. We're heading to the executive office of the President, where 600,000 enemies await us! They are the perfect opponent. Everyone, it's time. And finally, the presidential eve election was about to take place. This was the true final battle. We're losing meant death for the challenger, Valva Torres. Final episode! Battle! Tyrant versus President!
the Blight House. Only the highest level demons who possess the strength of final bosses are permitted to live in the core of the Netherworld. It represents the epitome of violence, where weaklings wouldn't even be allowed to come pick up the trash. The Netherworld president himself stands atop this place. So this is the Blight House, where the terror that maintains order in the human world is developed. Huh? It looks different than Hades. This place is, like, on a totally different level. Well, duh! Only the highest level demons who have mastered the extremes of violence get to live here. After taking this place down, the president's office will belong to Big Sis. Desco will do her best. Well, my lord, we shall now open the gates to the end of the netherworld and begin our reform. <clears throat> I have come from the depths of Hades to beat some sense back into this rotten netherworld. Our mission is to usurp the regime. I don't expect you to give in very easily. Go ahead and resist all you want. I shall pin each and every one of you down and teach you a lesson the Hades way. Now, tremble in fear! Oh, they're rather obedient, aren't they? Really are trembling. This is more than just trembling. This is like Desco senses a tremendous amount of murderous intent. The rumbling is coming from the ground. It's the echo of the violence across the land. The destructive footsteps of six hundred thousand demons. As expected of Corruptimate soldiers, their morale seems to have risen instead of falling in fear from hearing our Lord's name. Huh. At least they're motivated. I thought I was prepared for this, but seeing all this in front of me, it's more intense than I expected. This is just a dream, but I'm getting kind of scared. It won't be funny if I wet the bed at my age. I need to be careful. Big Sis, that's not what you should be worried about right now. What the? <laughs> right on time. Pretty rule number six. You shall never make your master wait. You barely made it. Sorry to make you wait, dude. In answer to Lord Galatoris' call, many brave souls have gathered here, dude. About 20 million plebeian demons. About 5 million bourgeois demons. About 1.3 million black blood demons. position to say this, but leave these peons to us and go defeat the president, dude! Yeah. You guys... Are you sure that's an accurate headcount? Not at all, sir! I was kind of exaggerating, dude. Nevertheless, you seem to have an amazing amount of supporters here. This was bound to happen for an eminent leader, but... This isn't necessary. Using numbers against numbers, this is like war. You shouldn't chastise them, my lord. They have all gathered here with the dream of taking over the Corruptiment with you. Huh. Then let's hurry so that we can end this madness. We have no reason to be scared, now that we've got the same amount of force on our side. Let's go, everyone!
done. Our only target is the Netherworld president. Don't even think about those other peons. Thus began the 62nd Netherworld presidential eve election. The only thing that can win the majority? Power. In the Netherworld, power is justice. That is the one and only rule that must be followed. Well, that's it for this video. Hope you like it and stay tuned.